There he is. Got him. Oh my god. Well, as you can see, it's very early. Finally, I got up before sunrise. Uh, it's because I it's a relatively earlier night last night. I want I had to do laundry. Uh, I had to get a new rod and get it ready to go and rig everything and I wanted to be ready to go early and get a decent night's sleep six hours it's the best night's sleep I've gotten in about two weeks so anyway I just I gotta be I gotta have my wits about me today because I got one goal you know I gotta land a snook and uh, I really I'm gonna you know I'm going after those giant reds again um, and I think they'll be back through around the same time and that's my goal is to target and land and get a wonderful photo of one of those giant reds and that's it so I'm gonna be all over the place again today following the conditions and the tide and everything and it's gonna be a long day waiting until five o'clock until the uh, the reds are gonna start to go off but uh, I'm gonna try to keep myself busy by catching fish all right See you in a minute. And if uh, yesterday was the day of heartbreak, today is the day of redemption. I can feel it. I can feel it. Looks nice out. Beautiful, actually. Let's hope I can get some fish under here. All right, not much is happening. Uh, not a bite, not a fish, not activity, no one else. So, uh, I don't know. I may try here for a few more minutes and then uh, hit Ding Darling, see if I cannot catch one of those uh, big snook in there. And uh, that's it. Then I'm basically just waiting the day out until uh, high tide in the giant reds. guy is screwed. Stuck in the inlet and he's grounded. Not the best place to get stuck. Hopefully he'll get out of it. The waves aren't too bad, so it's not like the capsize. There he is. Got him. Got him.
nice. Finally caught a snook, and it's a nice snook. And he was here yesterday, and he was aggressive, going after the barracuda, went after the mangrove. I just knew with the right bait, and I had a little pinfish on there, and uh, he tore it up as soon as it hit the water in the spot where I knew he was. That was it. He, he just he took it immediately. Well, that was awesome and uh, it's close to uh, redemption right there um, it's so cool because I saw that big snook here hanging out uh, yesterday and I, I hooked a mangrove and he aggressively went after it but he wasn't interested and then I hooked that barracuda and the snook was hiding under the dock or under the little thing here and he just like a, just torpedoed after that barracuda but again wasn't interested and I was thinking it probably would take like a ladyfish or a big mullet for him, but uh, I was also thinking maybe a pinfish, and it was small, but as soon as I threw it in the water, I almost didn't stay. I just was looking at the situation, just didn't look good, and the, the you know the current's going the wrong way, and I was just kind of like, Ugh. and then I was like, ah, I'll throw that, and then I actually I saw him in there, and I was like, all right, let's see if he'll go after the pinfish. It wasn't in there five seconds, uh, and bam grabbed him and it was on the stout rod so I'm not losing another big fish today not gonna do it and if those reds are back at the pa at the uh, pier and I got pinfish look out just look out redfish look out gotta finish strong right all right uh, all right I'm gonna go get some pinfish and, and uh, I'm just gonna probably hit all these culverts and see if there's not more big snook that are hungry all right See you in a Even in Sanibel, I get stuck behind a Prius. I guess it's not just an LA problem. Going under the speed limit as usual. Thanks, Prius! All right, catching that snook was awesome. That really did um, improve the entire trip. Uh, I mean, it's been a pretty epic uh, adventure so far. Got two more days, well, day and a half. Um, and last night was pretty, I mean, it's just been like really big, crazy, epic chaotic saga this whole trip it really has been um so even though it's not been non-stop catching which i've had trips like that this one has just been big crazy events and, and just really unique activity um and, and i love that you know it's different every time and that's what i love about this but with all that being said i gotta catch it if i catch a big red tonight if i land one just one i just need to land a nice I don't care how big it is, honestly, 30 inches and above, and I'll be happy. If I could just do that, then I'm going to try some different things tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to maybe hit the causeway, do some wade fishing, maybe right off the causeway itself. I just, I want to try some different things, but I have to catch that red. Got to catch that big red this evening. I hope they're biting. All right, I'm going to eat lunch now because I need some greens in me. I need some energy. I need to be ready to go. So I have the strength. To, to... All right, so I've been waiting all day for this, right? Ready to go, I'm rigged up. I got everything that I need. I'm so excited in a calm sort of way, like a Zen way. And I go to the bait shop and they're out of pinfish. The one thing that the reds are eating only. One guy caught one on a shrimp, but it's all pinfish. And he's out. Now, I love sharing information with people. I share it with the bait shop guys. I know that's their business. They, you know, they tell the people coming in where the fish are so they buy more gear and stuff. 
I'm all for that. It's great. These these two bait shops are fantastic. I go to both of them all the time. But man, there is something about sharing information with people where, I mean, it's a little island and people talk and it gets around and it's very fast. And if you say that they're only biting on pinfish, next thing you know, some guy comes into the bait shop and buys two dozen pinfish, like just cleans them out, which, you know, they don't care who they're selling them to because they're just trying to sell them. But man, that sucks. You know, one guy has like took all of them so sometimes it does not pay to share information, um, but I got, I'm lucky. I, I, I had two pinfish left, you know, from earlier in the day and they're still alive. So uh, I'm trying one more other bait shop and I hope they have them. Cause if they don't, I only have two chances at the big red. Well, sure enough, the other places, someone came in and snatched up all the pinfish too. So. There's some guy at the pier, maybe two guys, and they got like 50 pinfish. Because the news of the Big Red spread what they're biting on. I guess they were, everyone thought they were biting on uh, cut bait, chunk mullet. So everyone was fishing with that yesterday. Uh, anyway, I caught my two big ones on jumbo shrimp uh, two years ago. Some guy caught one with jumbo shrimp yesterday. So I got two pinfish, I got two chances. And uh, if not, I'll be switching to shrimp and just hope that uh, I get one on a shrimp. And not much I could do about it, you know. No sense in crying over spilled pinfish. Um, and there wasn't really, I mean, I could have left a little earlier. I've been trying to, I was trying to time it just right. Um, but if I left earlier, then there's a chance, you know, the pinfish would die or just we be weak or whatever. So, and I even asked the guy at the shop, I'm like, you're going to have them later on, right? Oh, we got plenty, but whatever. That's okay. Like I said, I'll figure it out. Uh, I'm going to catch one of those damn big reds today. Watch.